It's a race, and they're winning. The green omnibuses are omnipresent, and they're chasing down their few remaining competitors. We hardly have a chance. This is a financially strong competitor that is pushing one company after the other out of the way. In the bus industry, we're the player that people immediately think of, and the one which offers a wide network. But there's still huge competition from other transport carriers. We're still operating within a competitive market. So for us, there's no question about whether we have a monopoly. At Hanover bus station, most of the buses are green. Flixbus controls around 90% of the market, and it determines ticket prices, like the trip from Hanover to Hamburg, 150 kilometers for... Eight euros. Eight euros. This is, uh, not so tough, you can't say. top that, I reckon. It's incredibly cheap. My small diesel wouldn't do it for that. Is Flixbus the only operator here? Unfortunately, yes. There used to be a few others, but I think they may have been taken over by Flixbus, which is a bit of a shame because ticket prices have gone up. Because they're the market leader? I'd say so, yes. The prices have gone up a bit in the last few years. It's a textbook case. Attack the competition by offering dumping prices, then take them over and raise the prices again. A business style that requires nerves to be able to hold out for the long haul. We took on angel investors from related sectors, technology investors and venture capitalists, including Holtzbrink, which invests a lot in Germany, and Daimler too. And now we also have larger funds investing through their European offices. And Flixbus has only been around for a few years. At the company headquarters in Munich, hardly anyone is over 30. The employees mainly take care of the apps, which customers use to buy their tickets. Things are very different at Hanover bus station. Malincha Sakara sells tickets personally to customers at the counter. His employer is one of Germany's last independent intercity coach companies. Deutsche Touring was founded over 70 years ago. In the 1950s, the buses took Germans to the Mediterranean. But that's ancient history. Now, the company is fighting for survival. We try to convey to our passengers that we still exist, that we're still on the road. He's optimistic, and he has to be, because the lawyers are coming. Who can save the company? 120 employees currently fear for their jobs. The company filed for insolvency at the end of April. So now we have just three months to develop a continuation plan and to come to an agreement with a potential investor. Has the planning started? Are you already in talks? Well, we do have a history of taking over other companies, and we wouldn't rule that out in future. There are several in Europe, for example. But you're not interested in taking over Deutsche Touring? Not right now. After all, Germany is already effectively Flixbus country. Now it's Europe's turn. The shopping tour has already started. Before long, the green buses may dominate the entire European market.